I was raised um, by a man who believed that it was important to be in conversation with people you did not know, whose um, religion you did not maybe understand, whose background you did not know much about, but in part because he really believed in the end there was more that brought us together than there were differences, and that um, he would have debates with uh, his colleagues and they would say, why do you go into these places and have conversations where even angels fear to tread? Because mm -hmm. these are uncomfortable conversations. And my father believed that it was important. And I think particularly today, uh, and it seems like we're in increasingly in an either or world, the notion of being both and is really important. I do feel like I'm somebody who's been in politics and public service, and you know, some of you may, may have heard of me over the years, but I was always sort of the silent person in the background. I liked that. I really liked being private. I cherished my privacy. Uh, but I felt like while I was silent, somebody else was telling my story. And, um, and it was, I, I was really, I got to this place where I was done with that. I wanted to embrace my heritage my life, my story, and writing the book was therapy, Melanie. It was real therapy. I was saying to Selena, who thank you, by the way, for everything you've done to make this such a beautiful evening, that there is like crying at every single one of my events. And in part, it is because it's being in community together. And, and I've loved sharing my story. My life's been pretty crazy, for those of you who've read the book. Mm -hmm. But um, I look forward to sharing more stories from it.